back to Holo Holo, where we feature the latest in entertainment news and lifestyle features with an Asian Pacific American twist. October is Filipino American History Month, and the city of Carson is celebrating this month with every Saturday at Carson and the South Bay Pavilion. October 25th is Larry Itleong Day, and here to tell us more is Tita Faye P. Coons and Eddie M. Ghana Jr. Welcome back, Eddie. Hi, nice <laughs> to see you again. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Now, Tita, tell me a little bit more about Larry Itleong Day and what the city of Carson is doing and what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, this is our second uh, celebration, uh -huh. actually, October 25. He was born on this day. Mm -hmm. And um, the city of Carson is actually the only city in the whole of the United States that declared October 25, Larry Itleong Day. Right. So, mm -hmm. um, um, so every year we have labor leader awardees. Mm -hmm. um, last year we had the Filipino Worker Center, right. and we had Louis Diaz. Louis is a teamster, mm -hmm. and he's the one that organizes the big Labor Day parade in Wilmington. Right. Uh, so this year we're organ um, awarding Sumi Sevilla Haru. She's mm -hmm. a Filipino American. Yes. Uh, she's always been there with the uh, Screen Actors Guild, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and then Tommy Fabai mm -hmm. is also with um, Samoan. He's a Samoan organizer. Right. Um, so, really, the idea is to focus on Larry Itleong mm -hmm. and you know give tribute not only to Manung Larry but the other farm workers who were there during the great uh, strike in the Leno. Yes. In the 60s. Right. Yes, so this right. event on Saturday, there will be a parade, mm -hmm. right? And there's also exhibits that yeah. we can see, and it's all free. Yes, yes. it's all free, all and free. there's food. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, there's nice. going to be, uh, you know, a musical artist right. who will be there. Yeah, and some, some of the musical artists uh -huh. you were telling me was Charmaine Clamor yes, and Florante. Yeah. Uh -huh. There's also Eddie, how you know, how did you get introduced to the Larry Itleong Parade Day <laughs> celebration? Um, well I've I performed a poem dedicated to Larry It Leong mm -hmm. in a letter format, and that was at the LA Asian Pacific Film Festival. Right. And uh, everyone in the community was there, so like Faye was, yeah. there, and I was there. I was going to be there regardless, mm -hmm. um, but I was asked to perform. Right. And so when I shared that poem, uh, Faye approached me and talked to me about um, this event, and I'm yeah. honored to, you know, to be a part of it. Yeah, tell me, you know, we were talking before we started filming about how um, important it was for you to do this poem. Like, mm -hmm. how were you first introduced to Larry at Leon? Um, his name first came up um, when I was in the Bay Area during my high school years. Mm -hmm. um, at James Logan High School, I was fortunate to take Filipino heritage studies. Right. And so I learned about Philip Vera Cruz, Larry at Leon, Pete Velasco, amongst many others. Mm -hmm. um, and that was the first time I first heard about his name. Now, I didn't really know about his significance mm -hmm. in the labor movement until mm -hmm. college, because I mostly heard about Philip Vera Cruz. Right. You know? Um, and then when I started to hear about, oh, he was the vice president of United Farm Workers, um, you know, he, he helped start the um, Grape Strike in 1965, mm -hmm. you know, I was like, okay, why is this not being taught in history textbooks? Exactly. You know? Yeah, it and surprised me because you got a chance to learn about him in high school. I learned about him, well, I learned about Philip Veracruz in college, and right. I had to seek out an Asian American studies class, you know, to right. learn more. Right. Which is, it's great that you guys are doing this event, putting this together and sharing the significance of his work and fighting for our people. Of course. <laughs> you know? of course. Yeah, yeah I, largely the idea is to, um, make the Phil and Muth and a lot of the mm -hmm. youth and people in the mainstream mm -hmm. that there's this guy Larry Itleong and Manong, you know, Philip Vero Cruz who are also the really the first ones who got involved in the grape strike. Right. Yeah, Manung Larry was the one who convinced Cesar Chavez to mm -hmm. you know to not, work together, yeah, right? Work together, right. you know. <laughs> so but the, it's always been Cesar Chavez who has been popularized, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Now they're pushing for his uh, birthday to be like a national holiday. But yeah. what about the Filipino yeah. models? What we got to represent. Yeah. <laughs> right. you know, so you give justice to where justice is due, you know. Exactly. You don't. You give tribute to the Filipino farm workers because they are very important in mm -hmm. the history of the labor movement. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And speaking of which, you were telling me that you're actually working on a film. Yeah. Right? Well. We're doing a 
a, a more of a documentary that mm. focuses on Manong Lari alone. Right. Know, mm. uh, by interviewing other people who got involved in the strike, like the Teamsters. We had an interview with Dolores Huerta. Mm -hmm. On October 25, the Gala Awards, we will show like a 10 minute, basically mm -hmm. telling people who he is, you know. Right. Because you can't just say, okay, this is Larry Long, it's his birthday, but who is he? Yeah, what did he yeah, do? How so, did he get yeah. into the labor movement? And mm -hmm. it's important that the youth understand, because, you know, among the youth, you need to have role models, very mm -hmm. important role models that will inspire them, you know. He's a guy, you know, who put his life on the line, you mm -hmm. know, and organized, and right. he's Filipino-American, we got, right. you know, got to be proud of him. Exactly. <laughs> for being a voice to us, yes. or for us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Eddie, tell me a little bit about the piece that you're going to do today. Um, the piece, it was said earlier, is a, a letter directed to Larry <laughs> Leung, that mm -hmm. was born 11 years, you know, after, like, uh, he passed away, so yeah. I never had a chance to ever meet him, mm -hmm. um, but I was so inspired to spread that part of history out mm. through poetry mm -hmm. um, because it's through spoken word that I found that stories are important you know you're able to share your stories and if you don't share your story someone else will yeah yeah you know, or even worse no one or else no will, yeah I was right? gonna say or, or no, no one, one will right? you know so, um, <laughs> or so the, yeah sorry <laughs> no, no, no. Um, so uh, with this poem I really wanted to let others know about mm -hmm. Larry Leon's significance in the labor movement mm -hmm. um, and it's just been been an honor I also just let, would like to say um, it wasn't until I heard about Larry Leung's story uh -huh. through um, Johnny Itleung. Like when he was at a community yeah. event at Falkland, Stark Filipino town, uh -huh. um, it was uh, put on uh, by KMB Pro People Youth. Right. And uh, he was there talking about the injustices that were happening, like, you know, um, his erasure from the history textbooks and whatnot. Yeah. You know, and just hearing that firsthand, like, that really got me inspired to, like, really write and share my words and, mm -hmm. you know, get the words of Larry Leung out there. Yes, mm -hmm. and thank you. Thank you for sharing your story because now we can hear it and learn. It's an honor. <laughs> thank you so much, right. both of you, right. for coming on the show today. <laughs> of course, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Again, for more information on Larry Itleong Day, which is happening in the city of Carson, don't forget to check out the information on your screen. We'll be back.